<laughs> of course, uh, you're here presenting an award for Jude Law and uh, uh, award ceremony, but we'd here to talk about one of your own films. I take it you finished shooting The Zero Theorem. Just two days ago in Bucharest, and uh, I'm exhausted, basically. And now tomorrow I go into the editing room and see what mess we made and how we, if we can clean it up. <laughs> and so when, when can we expect to see that? I mean, we're very later excited. Later this year. I mean, later next year, obviously. I mean, I've got till around June to finish it. And then I don't know what they'll do at that point. It'll probably, it's an autumn film, I think. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Depp's taking on Don Quixote, I believe, that, but you're not involved no, anymore. Just, we're going to have to sort this one out. I was busy and then suddenly I saw this, so uh, I've written him a letter. We'll see what, what comes of it. No, I think, I don't know what he's got in mind, but, um, but I've got my own version. And in the meantime, of course, we're, uh, we're almost celebrating 30 years of, uh, of Brazil. I mean, we, can we expect to see a, a new sort of a new version of maybe a happier ending? No, actually, there's just Criterion Collection have just put out a new Blu-ray uh, on it with new extras and bits and pieces. So for those who like it, there's probably a few more things to discover. And a word on the awards time. I mean, it must be brilliant for you to be here to help sort of flagship independent cinema in this country, which is fantastic. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's, I mean, there's two ways of going. I mean, you can go out to Hollywood and work for the studios or you can beg and borrow and steal and try to make films that you want to make as opposed to what the machine wants you to make. And I think that's very important. I think the awards are important because particularly young filmmakers given a little boost by an award makes a huge difference. Old farts like me getting awards don't mean anything. <laughs> and I mean, meanwhile, I mean, there's a bit of a kind of revival for Monty Python at the moment with Elias' autobiography. Have you seen that? And how do you? I mean, no, it was very nice. It was very nice. We just, you know, all we did was make some funny voices in it, and it's and it's based on the book that Graham wrote. And it was a lot of really clever animators gathered together and made the thing. And I think it's, I don't know, I hope it does well. It must still be wonderful for you to know that this comedy that was written you know decades ago now is still as, as funny and people are still yeah. connecting to it as much as they ever have it's it's more of a surprise i mean nobody ever expected it you know we certainly didn't and it's the fact that it continues it's very nice because it pays the mortgage and a few other things Brilliant. well thank you so much and have an enjoyable evening thank you cheers, cheers. Thanks, thanks.